Hello everyone. I'm creating this video series to bring some awareness and you know knowledge amongst network engineers community on how to become a network architect. I'm hoping you know this would add some value and will be helpful for the aspiring network engineers in achieving their architect goal. I'm a network architect myself and have been doing this role for several years now. I've handled large network transformation programs in data center and campus networking and several other areas for many enterprise customers across the globe in all these years. So before you're planning to skill up for the network architect role, it is crucial to understand the expectations from an architect. What is the roles and responsibility of an architect in the networking domain? What the companies are expecting, what customers are expecting, when you introduce yourself as an architect and what people are expecting from you. First, who is an architect and how is he different from a consultant or SME sort of other technical roles in any company? Let's try to understand this, right? It is usually uh, understood that a consultant or SME will have a deeper understanding of the subject matter like a specific technology, a product or a specific protocols and so on, which is like having a more of a vertical knowledge like you can say you are very good at routing and switching, uh, expertise in BGP and OSPF and deeper understanding of FA and Citrix load balancers and so on and so forth. And an architect will have more of a horizontal knowledge. In other words, you know, he or she need to have more of a, a broader domain knowledge and may not be deeper into any specific technology or a product line or protocols as such. It's obvious that you know, when you go broader, you may not be able to look deeper as well when, when progressing in the career, right? And you will gain only a high level knowledge, but you get that in many technologies. So though it is true, let's look at a better explanation. If you understand the difference between an architecture and a design of an end system or a deliverable, okay, so by the way, these are not the same and many times they are used interchangeably. Architecture of a system and design of a system is different from each other. So if you understand the difference between them, it's easy to understand the roles behind them. For an example, if you're creating an architecture of a data center network, you need to consider that as one large system and it will have several elements within it to create the system. So those elements are like, you know, LAN switches such as core, aggregation, access switches, you know, van edge routers, van links, your internet routers and links, and your VPN devices and switches and uh, uh, different connectivity optics and cables and so on. So these are elements which forms the DC network. A careful consideration and placement of these elements are mostly driven by the requirements you know, from the applications, business, the regional compliance and existing customers infrastructure and if it brings any constraints and so on. So what you are creating is a blueprint for the system which covers you know, how do you structure the required elements together and how should they behave internally. Like you decide I need a core and distribution that aggregates all access layer switches and access layer connects the servers and other endpoints and like that. And how this LAN element is integrated with WAN and other elements by considering them as functional blocks. Your, your blueprint doesn't have to consider anything more deeper than this level. You will consider such elements within a system as a black box, meaning you don't have to go detailed into each of the elements itself uh, during the architectural phase. And you know, this is the architecture and the one who creates the, is an architect, as simple as that. So then comes the design of the system which is detailing the architecture done before. You know, it is the responsibility of the design to detail the elements which that system comprised of. So this is where you do the low-level planning of all products and features to be configured. You know, this is usually done by the consultants or SMEs in any organization. So hope now you understood the difference between architecture and design of the network systems and you know who should do what and or more precisely, in what level. Architects create a high-level design or architecture overview documents by understanding the requirements and any other constraints involved in, uh, depending on the customer's existing environment. And SMEs consultants use this and expand them into low-level design or architectural details documents.
how the expectation of the role is made clear and it is out of the way now. I would like to look at certain examples in different areas in the enterprise design and discuss what we should know and how we can create an optimal and better architectures for different requirements. I'll try to post them in series of videos and in each video I'll take certain aspects in the enterprise networking and well into this for better understanding and for the network engineers to start thinking like an architect. Thank you.